What is going on guys? We are back with another episode on the Hermit Pack. Now I have been doing a ton of work off camera, trying to spruce up the base a little bit, do a lot of resource gathering, just kind of get through all of the beginner stuff, get that out of the way so we can move into the more interesting stuff. So there's a lot that I want to go over before we actually jump into the building portion of today. And the first thing that I want to show you guys is going to be the base. Now, I don't want to go outside just yet because, as you can see, there's there's some changes that have been made already, uh, mostly inside from what you can see right here, but there's a lot of changes outside, and I believe last episode I referred to the outside of the house as being bleh, so uh, not really a word, but you know, an apt sound to describe it, but if I really had to describe it at the end of last episode, it would be the equivalent of a cardboard box, since there was no real detail to it, it was very uh, boxy, it, you know, really just nothing special about it. So I had some ideas in mind. I think I mentioned a couple of them last episode and I went about putting those into action so we can head outside and here we go. So this is what the base looks like from outside now. Uh, I think the leaves really do kind of bring it to life. Uh, I really like the way that the spruce doors look. The spruce, I said, should say trap doors. Um, obviously it's supposed to be like planters. And then we've got some around on the back here right along there so it kind of adds some depth to every side i added a little bit to the top there uh, i think yeah my bed's the only thing that's up there right now and then over here i have a farm i don't know why i used birch for the fencing but eh, whatever i had some birch wood laying around and this will get changed up very soon but i wanted to fence it in because a lot of stuff spawns around here at night so that's another story I want to tell you guys real quick. I was actually AFKing a little bit inside this doorway right here, and I was playing some Civ 5 with my friends. Of course, it was taking like, you know, five minutes per turn. So uh, I'd come on here and I'd do a little bit of work and then hop back over and all that good stuff. And a blaze spawned somewhere out here and it shot at me. And as you know, they kind of fire all haphazardly and it ended up hitting the house where there was wood and it lit it on fire and it burned roughly half of the wood in the house down. It got all of the uh, planks that are kind of behind the fences, uh, got some of the slabs, it got... Some of the staircases up here burned most of the wood flooring inside, so it was pretty bad. But, yeah, I, I don't think they spawned very much in here, and I just gotta make sure I don't AFK, like, right here, I think, is where I was sitting. So that was, that was pretty bad. But, uh, so these are the resources that I have gathered. These are kind of the important resources that I have gathered. Uh, some of them are kind of destroyed or, you know, turned into nuggets or iron bars for today's episode. But for the most part, these are the resources I got a ton of iron and I still have to process most of this, but we will get to that later. Uh, I really don't have much lava left. And then over here, I made this small storage crate. You can't even see the name. It gets cut off at the top of the screen, but it's not really that small. It's just kind of going to allow me to store all of my miscellaneous things that I don't really need. I think it looks pretty nice too. And then over here, we've got the regular furnaces, a chest, and then a crafting station. So this is pretty much all the building blocks right over in this one here. Wood, building blocks, sandstone, all that. If we go upstairs, we have two things up here. We've got the sag mill and alloy smelter from Ender.io. There is a reason for having them up here. They have no power to them yet, but that's what we're going to be working on today, uh, getting power to these. And then if we come upstairs and we'll be able to use it in a second, is this area right here and a bed. And we can sleep in here. Now you can see I've been doing a lot of work on here. We've got diamonds. We got uh, a bunch of different stuff. I've got these two tools here, a bronze pickaxe that is a grandmaster level and a bronze hammer. Very, very basic tools. Uh, they do level up. This one's clumsy because it's a tier two tool technically. Basically what that means is the pickaxe is kind of a, basically just a recreation of a tool we already have. So it's tier one and now it's at grandmaster, which adds a fair bit of modifiers to it. We've got 10 on here. Uh, and then this one, I haven't leveled up at all, so we have five modifiers on there. It's a tier two tool, one that's not already in the game, so it's a little bit harder to level up. So that's kind of a recap of what I got off camera. Now, I know I've been speeding through that a little bit, but that's just because it's not really pertinent information to what we're doing today. That's just kind of how I got to where I am now. So we're going to be building down here today. This is the basement. Uh, not super happy with how this looks right now. It'll probably look better once I get some other stuff in here but it's really bland right now. Uh, it kind of looks like one of those padded rooms that, you know, they put crazy people in, I guess. I don't know if they still do that, but like they, they used to just kind of put them in padded rooms in solitary confinement. Uh, that's basically what this looks like down here. These are chiseled blocks. 
Uh, I don't actually know what these ones are if I turn on Wayla, or I guess this is the one probe. Uh, this is chiseled sandstone. It doesn't really tell us which chisel it is, but yeah, so that's where we're going to be building today. So now that we've gotten through all this stuff, I don't know how long I've spent on it. We can get to what we're doing today, which is going to be setting up a canola power source. Now we're going to be using the actually additions canola to you know end up getting oil and then use the oil generation for power and eventually bring it back up to the ender io machines so that we can make conduits and all that good stuff so we got to get out a lot of stuff from over here to start doing this so the first thing that we're going to need is to basically grab out a bunch of redstone iron coal gold cop we're just going to get all this stuff that i'm pulling out right here uh lapis and we can bring out the quartz if we really need it i think i have enough for now but we should need all that stuff uh, over here we can grab out our canola the regular canola uh, we'll leave the canola seeds in later because we're going to set up a little area back there to farm them Oop, broke the torch but what we need to do now is a little bit of crafting so as you guys might know if you've messed around with actually additions at all it's a very cool mod um, it's very helpful early, but you need to make the atomic reconstructor as the first thing no matter what you're doing You need this because it allows you to change all of the vanilla items that you have into the actually additions version of them So we're gonna start by making this iron casing which requires black quartz and then just some sticks and iron There we go And then we can finish making this because it's just going to require some more iron I guess which we don't have So we'll turn some of these blocks into iron and finish that up so there we go, we've got that. Now I am going to actually grab out, uh, you know, we can do it with a single piece of wood. I think a button should do. Uh, you do need a way to kind of turn on the atomic reconstructor. And we're going to make a redstone torch really quick too. Because if you don't know, actually additions basically uses the redstone torch as its generic wrench. And I'll kind of show, what you, uh, show you guys what I mean in a second. It's a little bit confusing when I say it like that, but... We can bring this downstairs in a second. We just need to get a little bit of power for it. And the basic way of getting power is going to be through the coal generator. Now this is really easy to make. We just need to make another set of iron casing and we should be good to go. Oh, we're missing some cobble. So we can grab that from in here and finish off crafting it. So there we go. We have our coal generator. Now this is really only gonna be used for getting power for the reconstructor. I think 21 coal should be more than enough. So we can come down here and we can start this out so we will put it right over here and you can see it's got a nice little uh ui that pops up or i guess i should say a little i don't even know what you call it ui hud what you what's whatever um gooey i don't know what the difference between those are um but it says it's got no lens it's in a redstone mode and you can hold a redstone torch to toggle it so if you were to take this redstone torch you could set it to pulse you can set it to deactivation, that's really it. Now we can slap a button on there. We can put it on the top because we're basically just gonna wanna set up some blocks and then trigger this. And now we can throw the coal in here and allow it to transfer the power directly over to this. You can see it's going up very slowly. Uh, oh, so it's already going. So we need to set this to pulse so it doesn't waste any power. But basically now we can press the button and make it go. So what we have to do, and I'm gonna head back upstairs for this real quick is we need to craft some blocks. Now you can transform regular items, but blocks are a lot more efficient. So we are going to be making some redstone blocks uh, and we can do about four of them uh, since we're gonna need to save the rest of those. We're gonna take some iron blocks so we can do maybe three because even if we don't use it now, we can use it later. And then we're gonna do some lapis. I think we'll probably do, we can do two blocks of lapis. I don't even know if we need this today, but eventually we will use it. Uh, so we can transform these blocks might as well do them all at once and I think that's actually really it I don't think we need to transform anything else if we do we can always pop back over to it and use it again So just check okay, so it should have sufficient power. So we're gonna put some blocks down and Put these down and then go like this So we got a three by three in front of this and we should be able to hit the button and it turns all of them and you can see it actually doesn't use that much power now what I'm gonna do is take this and we're gonna break it real quick so we want to make sure we don't use up too much of our coal because we're gonna need it later but now we've got all these blocks here and they look a little bit different but pretty much the same so if we look in our inventory we now have a nori crystal yeah, Nori Crystal Block. Sorry, that messed me up a little bit because one of my friend's favorite animes, just a little side note for all the weebs out there, including myself, 
My friend loves the anime Guilty Crown if you've ever seen it, and the main female character from that is called Inori, but it's spelled differently, it's spelled with an I as far as I know, but just kind of reminded me of that, you know, if any of you can relate to that, nice little anecdote, uh, but we need to take these now and basically just turn them back into their regular forms and grab them out, and this should be more than enough. So now we've got the Restonia Crystal, Palace Crystal, and a Nori Crystal. So it's basically just a slightly changed version of it. So now that we have that, we need to go and make a couple different things. Canola Press is going to be the first thing. We're only going to make one of these today. Uh, we can make more later and expand upon what we're doing right now, but we're only going to make one of these today. And we're going to make the Advanced Coil because we've already got Canola. This is what you get when you break a grown Canola plant. So we make this and we're going to need a fair bit of these. And if you're messing around with actually additions, you should get really used to crafting these because they're used in almost everything so that's just going to use some gold nuggets and then we need a basic coil which is the restonia that we made and a black quartz so for some reason every time i auto fill a recipe it drags something random in there so it's a little bit annoying i don't know why uh but we can grab out let's make four of these right now why not uh hopefully i you know don't need more black quartz or anything but then we can take some of this gold and we can turn it into gold nuggets and we can convert these and we can make all four of them like that. So there we go. Now we need to go back and finish the canola press. So we only need one of these today uh, for the setup. Then we're going to need four fermenting barrels. So this is going to use a fair bit of wood and an ori crystal, a canola and wood casing, which is then going to use even more wood. So it actually is occurring to me right now that I probably don't have enough wood for this. Might need to go chop down another tree. Uh, I do have an axe, an iron axe, kind of lackluster, but it's not nighttime out, so we might as well go chop down another tree. This is going to bother me so much. Oh, there's some leftover wood here. Uh, I was going to say, it's going to bother me a lot if it doesn't despawn because it's currently got a tree under it, and that might be the case. I don't think all these leaves will despawn, but I think a second tree will be good enough to get that. Uh, this has been far more... Well, this has been significantly more than actually needed to maintain the you know the wood that i require but eventually i want to automate this just because it's kind of annoying to have to come out here and chop down the trees so we'll replant them i don't know why i have majority of these trees as birch since i don't really use birch wood a ton i mean it's for the flooring but that's really it uh but we can come over and finish off with what are we making the fermenting barrels so we've got the wood we need the wood casing uh, so that requires sticks. I guess that's what we're a little bit low on. Okay, guys, so we are back now. I ran out of a lot of different things. I ran into a bunch of issues crafting all of this, but we are finally done. We have our regular coal generator, which we're going to use for our initial power for this stuff. We've got our canola press, our four fermenting barrels, and our four oil generators. Now, the ratios from all of these together, because they're going to be working pretty much in tandem with each other, are, they're pretty exact. Uh, I think you might need one more canola press to make it perfectly run and never run out of stuff, but we're not even going to be automating it today. We're just going to be using this to get power, and we'll automate it next episode so we can worry about it then. The last thing we need, though, is going to be an energy laser relay. Now, there's a bunch of different tiers of this. The first one should be sufficient for now, but this is going to basically give us two, so we'll have one for the input, one for the output. It actually can transfer between the two pretty, like, consistently and it really doesn't matter if one's input or output you don't have to set it uh just kind of make sure there's energy flowing between them and for this it requires some blocks of redstone restonia four obsidian and the advanced coil so we've got the advanced coil left i think the only thing we don't have right now are the two blocks of redstone and it is redstone as far as i know it's not restonia yeah so it is block of redstone thankfully so now we have those two and we should be good to start setting this up it is nighttime out, so we will have to make sure it is daytime before we actually head back outside to set up the farm, but we'll set it up right over here in this corner. So what we're going to do is take the canola press and put it down in the center, so right here, and then we are going to take the oil generators, and I believe we're going to put them down right here, 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 and here, and these look really disgusting. Look, look at that. That looks nasty. Uh, obviously, they have the animation without anything inside them, but and then we're going to take the fermenting barrels and put them down right here because the process is going to go from the canola press to the fermenting barrels to the oil generator. So it kind of goes 
outward, uh, which is why they're like this. It keeps it nice and compact and everything gets input into the center block here. So we're going to put the canola in there. Now, like I said, we need to give this some starting power. So that is why we have the coal generator with us. We should be able to slap that down. Wait, where did it go? Where did it, it just, did it just disappear somewhere? Or am I losing my mind? Okay, it's not in here right now. Is it up here? Did it get put over into... Yeah, it did. Okay, I don't know if I manually put it there or it just got moved over there, but I thought I had that in my inventory before. But we're going to put this down right up here, and then we're going to put coal there, and it should start transferring power, which should allow this to run. It's kind of unfortunate that we can't really see. Obviously, it is putting power in there, and canola is in there, so it should... Okay, so yeah, it started putting stuff in the fermenting barrel, which has the process go and make oil, which then generates a significant amount of RF for us. Obviously, both of these are running. So there we go. We now have RF from these, which is great. So this whole process is running. Now what we need to do is go and get some power upstairs. So this is where the energy laser relay comes in handy. So this basically is wireless transferring of RF. So what we can do is come over here. Now, eventually, we're going to hook this up to all of them. But what we're going to do is throw it down on one of these and it should be good here. And what we can do is go upstairs and we have to make what is called a, I believe it's a laser wrench. So right here, laser wrench, really easy to make. It's going to require another advanced coil, unfortunately. So that should be, that'd be the sixth one that we would have had to make today. But we can make the laser wrench. Uh, need another black quartz. So there we go. Laser wrench. Boom. And there we go. And lastly, there we go. So we've got the laser wrench. This is going to allow us to configure these. So we come back down here. We right click on it. It stores the laser. Now we can head upstairs. And I don't know if it needs to be attached to stuff or if we can put it in the center here. But now we right click and it's connected. And we can now see the line between the two. If we want, we can shift. I think we can shift right click. Maybe they took that out. I don't know. But you used to be able to make it so that you wouldn't have to see this laser. Uh, yeah, I don't actually know. There, I think there should be a way that you can get rid of that. Uh, but shift right clicking is not working right now. So unfortunately, we're going to have to stare at this for a little bit until I can figure out how to get rid of it. And I definitely am not going to live with it like this. So don't worry about that. But now these are getting RF from that, which is great because we need to make some stuff to get conduit so we can bring all of it together. So now we need to go and go to conduit and I have the conduit binder, but we need to make, uh, we need to use the iron and redstone to make the conductive iron. So this is going to take 10,000 RF per, which means we are going to need a fair bit of RF in here. So we take the redstone, we're going to need three and three. And there we go. Now it's, it's going to take a while to process that. And if we come down here, it's on that back one. So I think all of these have enough power in it to process them, but unfortunately that back one will not. So I think I'm going to hop off camera now. I'm going to get a little bit more power in here with canola, or, you know, we can just hook it up to this piece right here uh, if we really wanted to. So I'll do that off camera. Then we'll hop back and start hooking this all up together. Okay, guys. So the conductive iron just finished. We can head back downstairs now, and this is just awful right there. So I really am going to have to get rid of that until I can figure it out. I was looking in the book and I couldn't see anything about it. I know there is a way to get rid of it, but for now, we're going to have to live with that for the rest of the episode, at least. But what we're going to do is put down a basic capacitor bank and we can put it down right here and then we can get rid of this. We should be able to get rid of this coal generator right here. This should be full on power and we should be able to start hooking these up so we can get rid of that torch and hook these up to that. And then we can bring these over like that. And then we can hook them up in the center so that they make sure that that gets repowered. And then we can hook them up to this. And I don't really think there's any, you know, good looking way of doing this. So what I might just do is eventually I'm going to put this in the center here and put another one over here. But for now, we're just going to have to do, oh, oh, there, there isn't even a way to hook all these up together. You know what? We'll get rid of this one right here and we'll just do this because that is enough power to run for now. Eventually, I'm going to want to put one there. I'm going to have to make some more conductive iron. But what that will do is allow this whole processing setup to make sure it's got enough power for itself to continue running. And then we'll run an item conduit down here from a farm, which will be right up there. And it will bring the canola straight into the canola press to get processed and turned into the power, which will then get stored into this bank right here. So 
What I want to kind of do now is set up a little bit of a farm outside. Just a casual one. We've got some dirt here. We've got some... Where are the canola seeds? They are right here. We really don't have that many. But I've got my hoe ready to go. And I will dump some of this stuff back in here. All this junk that we are not going to need to use for a little bit. And that can just stay in there. We'll eventually wirelessly hook everything up again. But we can come over here and grab out some of the sandstone is what I want. And that really is all that I need. So I want to go through and make some sandstone stairs and make some sandstone slabs. And those got put over here because we already have some. So we're going to get this stuff out. I need a bucket from over here because we're going to get some water. And I know I can use actually additions worms to make everything okay, but for now we're just going to use manually put in water. And I need to get water from somewhere. We can just come down here to get it. I would get it from the little like well up there, but I actually got rid of the water there and started mining down over there in that thing. Because I thought it looked cool and I was like, hey, I might leave this here. But uh, yeah, so we kind of, kind of ran out of water there. Now my goal is to make another farm because eventually very soon I'm going to get rid of this one but I wanted to put it back here so I think what I'm gonna do is get rid of this right here and we can just if we just break this those should oh, I thought these would come off because they're wow okay well they just stay there that's great uh, let me just chop these down then and open up some space over here and I wanted to have some water streaming down from up there which means we're gonna get rid of this window right here do a little bit of a little bit of on-camera building and I will build up with this so I can kind of get some access up here but we're gonna put down this this and then it looks like I do not have the right brick for that so I'll get that later but then we're gonna break this and set up our little farm area down here so let's say the water lands right let's say the water lands right here this is where we're gonna have the water land so we can fill this in down here with just some regular sandstone to match the outside and we can start putting some dirt down and it's not going to be a huge farm right now. Eventually, we will expand it to kind of match uh, the area we're farming, whether it's an Ender I.O. farm or uh, a farm that's coming from actually additions. Both of them have the option to, but I'm going to set this up, and it's not even going to be like an exact square farm. I think it looks a little bit better if it's kind of haphazardly placed like this, so we can till the soil down here and plant the canola. Wow, that looks a little weird. we got to put a block down back here since we can see under like that. And this needs to be regular sand. Okay, there we go. Okay, so everything should be good now. Oh, it's becoming untilled just because there's no water here. Okay, well, we'll wait to till it later. Now we're going to go up there and we are going to put down the water. So I kind of want to add a little bit of flare, some pizzazz to it when we put it down, which is why I have the stairs and everything. So we can head up. And there's really no purpose of putting anything up here for the time being. But we can break this and start putting it down. So let's say we put the water down right here. So we want to get... Oh, this is where that block was supposed to go that I totally forgot about. Okay, well, uh, we can put down, let's say, stairs. Oh, we got to face that the other way. I'm going to put down stairs like that. And then we'll just put this block down there for now. Put them down like so. And then the water will go there. So that means we are going to need to have a block back here to stop it. Which we can just do a regular slab. So that it matches this whole thing. And if I really wanted to I could go like that. To just kind of make it match a little bit better. Yeah that doesn't even look that bad. So then the water will go right here. And it will spill forward. And I want to add something out here. To make it look a little bit better. So let me get some dirt and build out. Just so that we can see what it's going to look like. So the water is going to flow down and we can put the water there right now if we really wanted to. So it's going to flow down like that, get down there and then we can put some stairs down here. Now I don't actually know how I want this to go. So obviously that stair would look awful and that, that stair doesn't look super awful, but it probably looks weird. We'd have to go down one and build up. So that's, I think that's what we're going to do. So we can pop, you know, well, I was just say we can pop down here and then we can jump and put some stairs down like that. So I think that looks pretty cool. It just kind of adds a little bit to this side of the building, a little bit more color, 
kind of makes it I don't even know uh, not it just kind of incorporates it into what we're doing so we can then till the rest of the soil again and we can actually plant our canola seeds we don't even have enough for this area yet I'll have to go get some more but there we go I think that actually looks pretty nice so then eventually I'll get rid of this farm I'll add some plants to this side and this farm will grow as we automate it I'll probably centralize the water a little bit more maybe I'll add another step like right here to bump it out another one so it drops here and we can make it a little bit bigger and then easily pull the items down to the room that is below it but I think that is going to be it for today guys got a fair bit of work done today finally got some power generation going that isn't just a combustion or coal or sterling whatever you want to call it basically just the the typical coal power generation early so pretty happy with that hopefully you enjoyed the video if you found it entertaining please feel free to give it a like it does help me out a lot and let me know how you like the format you know if you like me doing the crafting on camera today it was kind of unavoidable because i wanted to do the reconstructor on camera um but if you like doing the building and the, the talking and just kind of having longer episodes let me know tell me what you like what you don't like what you want to see all that good stuff and i want to say thank you guys for all the amazing support in less than like a day the last video hit 100 likes and a thousand views which is completely absurd uh, i know you know usually new series get a lot of views but that has been one of my best starts to a series that i've seen on my channel ever so thank you guys for being so awesome about that and you know i really do appreciate it and i will talk to you guys later